Hi, my name is Tim Wimple, and today I'm going to teach you how to replace the sky and reflect it in the water. Let's get started. Okay, today I'm going to teach you how to add a uh, reflection in water. First thing I want to do here is I want to change the sky into this in this uh, image here I have that I took of the Buffalo River and then I want to reflect that sky image down into our water so here's the um, sky image that I'm going to replace and reflect and so what we need to do is let's get our Buffalo River picture here and let's take our arrow tool slide it up to the tab come down and then hold down the shift key and that drops it right on the top so bottom layer we have our clouds top layer we have the Buffalo River picture that we're going to replace the sky and put some reflections in the water all right um, a few tutorials back I showed you how to do what's called the one click sky replacement and uh, in this particular image it's going to take a little bit of a different technique but I'll show you why that is and how to do it so we have that image selected here that we want to replace the sky in we come over to our eraser tool and we want the magic eraser tool and I've got the tolerance set on 70 contiguous is unchecked because I want it to get down into these little trees here and all these little spots of sky that are not connected to the major piece of sky here so we have that unchecked and we have sample all layers turned off because we just want to use this here for our to cut the sky out of and so here we go we're going to click and fantastic job up here but you see down here we also cut this away as well which we don't want to do and the reason let me go control Z to back up there the reason that that didn't work this time is because there were other colors and uh, brightnesses in this image that matched so when I click on that it looks at the whole image and cuts everything out so first let me make a duplicate layer here just as a precaution and I'm going to show you how you can avoid that we're going to come up here to the lasso tool we're just going to choose the polygonal lasso and with the polygonal lasso you just click so we're just clicking across here making a really general selection of the sky here now when you select something uh, in Photoshop often what that means is you can only affect the area that you have selected so let's go back to our magic eraser here and let's try that one more time click look at that we replace this guy one click and we did not affect the water down here so let me turn this selection off here deselect and on this particular image I don't think there's anything else we need to do with that sky replacement that looks pretty good okay now what this lesson is about getting those clouds reflected down here in this water we're going to take the cloud layer duplicate it I'm going to move it on top now I want to have the reflections in the water so we're going to flip this come down to transform flip vertical okay that gets our clouds upside down and in the water here and again I want to take the polygonal tool just so we can we don't need this stuff here and we can see the image behind it a little bit better see what we're doing so I'm just going to come around here and when you see the little circle that means when you click you've made the selection and I'm just going to come up here to cut I'm just going to cut that completely out 
and I think that looks pretty good. I don't think we need to move it or do anything else to it. Okay, now here's where the magic of adding this as a reflection comes in. We're going to come down to the Effects menu and choose Blend Options, or you can just come up here to your your layer and double click and that will bring up your layer style panel as well. And we want to come down to this underlying layer uh, blend if area. And at first this may seem a little tricky but once you understand how to use it uh, you'll be using it all the time. It comes in handy for a lot of different things. You can actually do a sky replacement with this one dialog box here. We are going to what we want it to do, let me move this over here so I can, what we want to do is we want the dark areas, we want the dark areas of our underlying layer to break through our cloud layer here so that we don't have the reflection showing up on the trees here and we also don't have it showing up on the little dark areas of the ripple. We just want it showing up on the highlighted areas of the ripple. So let's go back, turn that back on and double click. So as we move this underlying layer slider to the right, you'll start to see that the darker areas of our underlying layer break through here. So as we move it to the right, what we're saying basically is we want all the brightness levels of the underlying layer, the landscape here, to break through our cloud layer. And at this point we want from 0 to 46 to break through and we're just going to keep moving that over until we get to something probably around in there. 126 might take that down just a little bit. How about 118? Now the, the only problem with this right now is that it's very jaggedy edges and just doesn't look very very smooth or very doesn't look like it's reflecting off the water and the, what we need to do is we need to smooth that transition and the way you do that is by holding it down your alt or option key and when you do this little triangle will separate so as you drag over, if you watch down here, you can see the cloud layer is slowly disappearing. But now it's doing it in a very smooth transition. And you can kind of finesse this wherever you want. All right. So basically what we've done is we've told Photoshop that the landscape image that's underneath our clouds we want all the levels of brightness from 0 to 128 to break through. And then all the, the values from 165 to 255, we want complete cloud layer. We don't want any of the background layer showing through. But then this area between these two sliders is a transition between that. So we have a transition from allowing all the background layer to come through and none of the background layer to come through. And we click OK. And I think that looks pretty good. One thing you might notice is on the rock here, we have a little bit of blue. And we can fix that by coming down to our mask. So it's uh, it's kind of like having a double mask here because we're masking it with the blend if and then we're also going to mask it and let's get our brush and we want black because black conceals anything on that layer and if we just come in here and paint on this a little bit we can take that right off there All right, I hope that helped you out, and uh, make sure and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot. Bye.